Matthew took us through um, what are the requirements or what are the laws governing um, payment of tax for expatriates. And by expatriates, you mean um, for people who are not Tanzanians by nationality but uh, work in Tanzania. So with taxation, we have different laws as how Matthew has explained. Uh, we don't define residency as the way it's plainly um, defined, but in taxation, we know what that means. So yeah, Matthew, thank you so much for the wonderful presentation. And I encourage every one of us to be joining this session. You know, as Matthew, you are presenting, I just kept thinking how wonderful this session is, not just for tax experts or consultants who want to add their knowledge, but for different people, different stakeholders, such as CEOs, uh, founders of different organizations. You know, today technology has made our world really a village. You can work with, you can have a company in Tanzania, but you work with people from all over the world. So we, we at Titaro encourage um, people, the citizen, to know what the law means. You know, for, for as you say, in developing, in developed countries, uh, the matter of tax is a really big thing. It doesn't matter who you are, as long as you default on your tax payment, it's a big deal and you get fair and equal treatment. And in Tanzania, even, if, even developing countries, it's just a matter of time before we get there. But as we get there, you can just think about the fact that you're working with different people across the world and your, and your company is defaulting and paying taxes. Simply because maybe you did not understand a certain law or I don't know, for any reason, this could be a liability for your company. You know, somebody may want to invest in your company or you may get a wonderful talent, let's say from Netherlands, who wants to work with you, but then if they look at your company, you are defaulting a lot, and that's a risk for serious investors, serious employees. They do look at these matters. Your company defaulting in paying taxes with their issue. So, a platform as Tax Talks with Titaro, we have these talks so that to encourage every stakeholder, and by stakeholder, we mean every citizen, to have at least the basic knowledge. You know, for every one of you who has joined us here today, now you understand. If you want to employ, let me speak this from a perspective of a CEO or somebody who is making a decision in the company. If you want to work with someone from a certain country, now you know you have to look into certain, uh, into certain things. Or maybe when you go and talk to your consultant, your tax consultant, you need to be looking out for certain things. Like um, if you want to hire a person from, say, Uganda, do we have um, a double tax agreement with Uganda? If what does it say in regards to employment taxes? If we don't, how are we going to work this out? Okay. Um, if they stay in Tanzania for more than this number of days, then they gain residential status. What does that mean? So through everything that Matthew has explained today, we are able to learn that. And for anybody who has joined late, don't you worry. We usually record these um, sessions from beginning to end. So tomorrow evening, this session will be uploaded to uh, in, in YouTube, so you can just go through it and maybe listen to the part that you did not join. Um, Matthew, I, I have a simple question about the clarification before I open the room to um, everybody to, to ask a question. You said one among the qualifications for taxation for an expatriate in Tanzania is having a residential status. Now, my question is, I, I don't know if you touched upon this, but I'll need clarification. If a person is a resident in Tanzania, as I understand, they have to pay their income uh, from the worldwide sources. Does this apply for expatriates too? I don't know if you got my question, Matthew. Yeah, um, I've got you. Actually, it does not apply to expatriates alone. It applies here at a local individual, for example, um, I assume, like, uh, just assumption, uh, uh, a place uh, maybe I've got an apartment uh, in UK na na ana pangisha pule ana na in rent. In apply pia kwa yeye ambaye ni local citizen, ambaye ni just normal citizen wa Tanzania. Even ya ukiamu wata uka purchase a certain thing in 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 in, in another country, and since you already 
uh, 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 resident now any something from those uh, assets you have bought outside Tanzania, then tax will be um, applicable and you have to file yeah, returns at the end of the year and report those worldwide income. So it applies to local and expatriate both. Okay, um, thank you, Matthew. We have a question in the chat room from Said Manyanga. He says, uh, can I have more clarification on NGO special agreement on exemption? So I think he's speaking of uh, an employee who works for an NGO. I think you touched upon this, Matthew. Yes. Actually, we have just come across some cases um, on employees Ambao ni expatriate wana work out uh, uh, in this NGO. Now most of them you will find the contracts in a SEMA um, kwamba watakuwa exempted all expatriates who will be working to that NGO na it is specify on those exemptions. Labda fukipo ina specify ni pay as you earn and SBL how in a in only speak about um, of course, yes, there is no, not an, an issue. Uh, most of the time, we should not any pay. But in the Income Tax Act, in Ataka, it is enforceable. This contract must be registered. Na mwana sheria mkuu. Actually registered, then this NGO has to write an application to the commissioner so that akaifanye kuwa ruling, aka provide who are ruling from commissioner based from TRI perspective, not from the contract perspective. Ikisha kuwa registered under 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 Amara Sheria Mku, then inakuwa ruled na TRI, lakini pia apart from being ruled, inatakiwa kuwa gazetted. Yani ule mwana sheria mku wata move together with the uh, attachment kudoka kwa commissioner itapita kwenye one of the kamati za bunge then itakuwa publicized to government not itakuwa kama GN number labda 100 na 1 ina explain inatangazwa kwenye government news kwamba NGO ABCD imekuwa exempted kwa uh, expected work pay in the period of 2 years 3 years 5 years 10 years according to whatever the experiment of the contract or your India touch your government now you enjoy will have to explain. So except for the Z, Nipo has on answer ku ondoa easy easy pay kutoka kwa our expatriate. Lakin wakati wo during those processes, kama idea or deserted and you already have expatriate in your NGOs, you are supposed to deduct pay as you any till the time you make what deserted under the government newspaper. Na TRA amesha enforce as a ruling, na amesha kuwa publicize, na amesha pewa as a power, ya kudida, ya kuwa exempt yo pay, kubikuwa deducted from these expatriate who operating in Tanzania. So, we have a lot of many cases for NGOs to have the a half procedure that reach to the point ya kuwa fully exempted. Okay, um, thank you, Matthew. We have an additional question from Said again, but I think you have answered this. He said he asks, What is gazette? So that's basically what I think ni magazette ya serikali. It has to be on official channels, uh, serikali. Uh, now, we are here, yeah, yeah. Not, government not. I think you are when you are looking for the taxes when I farm. GN, GN number, ya ni government notes inakuwa ni katangazo kama yekwa kuni gazeti. Yes, na ni gazeti la serikali, I think. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, also, anasema the agreement on names of those expatriates and is responsible to ensure that it is gazeti. So, I, 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 I think Said, he already said this, it will be the monasheria of serikali, that is TRI, who will ensure that this uh, after all the processes that are done, it will be uh, published for the public to, to to know this, and this will be under the official government uh, media's uh, or official channels. We have yeah. another question from Zenice uh, in the chat room. 
two questions actually. Well, the first one says, what are some common mistakes it's make when it comes to taxes? And the second question is, um, can expatriates do their own taxes as an expatriate or do they need to hire professionals? Nice. Um, Matthew Karibu, Saidi, anytime you have any more questions, feel free to write. Sorry, so what are the Linasema, what are the uh, what are some common mistakes expatriates make when it comes to taxes? Okay, um most of the time when he, he know, they are very keen as compared to most of um study could be undermine like in most of us when a lot of tax numbers of Tanzania I may be a much, but for them the first things before coming to invest, they have to have the briefing. Okay, now Ganesha Naswala Piri, briefing from the tax expert, wa Tanzania, au, au experienced the tax person, ambaye ata mwelezea implication is a tax. So, ikitokea, amefanya mistakes. From those explanations, alizo zipata kutoka kwa, kwa, kwa yule mtu ambaye ame, ame, ame mwahaya, kama mwelezea implications za tax ya kija kuoperate in Tanzania. So, most of them are under our power by practical. Most of them they want to relay information. We talk about them to local, we don't cut a issues and tax. The one who explain about implication of the taxation of individual in Tanzania, whatever we will provide to them, what that will do, whatever is what they will do. So unless some that logo in terms of this money benefit, money cash benefit, for example. Amepewa gari la kampuni, amepewa nyumba. Somehow, wanajikuta in those kind of um, deducting benefits. Yeah, wanachukulia kama vile one of the, yeah, he just income ya kawaida. Wanakuwa mostly they based on the cash issues. Yeah, and another question pia niyo kwamba, do you have to employ a local person who knows local taxes? Actually, it's just an addition. Oh, some heads up when you issue a long issue of compliance, like a Matthew, yeah, returns the non citizens or under immigration. But in the just to add up, uh, when you issue compliance, we also have to consider the compliance, yeah, how non citizens, when I say my returns on employment, and by in a funny capia, a labor commissioner, na a book here in accordance to the non citizens employment act kumbata tunahitajika pia kufanya hiyo compliance with respect to our non citizens uh, thank you um asante sana yeah that's man is good is that yes yeah um asante sana good luck one of our loyal loyal participants i think we have been with good luck for for more than two uh, since we began this session yani kama alikosa basi itakuwa moja ukucha itout so good luck good to hear from you today thank you so much for that um uh, for contribution so guys we are left with all right um we are left with two minutes i just want to thank you all for joining us today uh in this session we'll have another one next week you can just visit our social media platform to know what uh session is coming up next week our social media platforms instagram and twitter it's titaro underscore gc linkedin facebook and youtube is tanzania tax awareness and research uh, organization and for those who wish for the new uh for the newcomers the new participants if you wish to join our sub group i'll we'll be communicating mostly about these sessions and taking more suggestions feel free to reach me by my number i'm going to mention it now just write it down uh 0764 773 just Text me in WhatsApp, I'll be more than happy to add you in the group. Matthew, if you have um, a few words to say before we end the session. Um, just, um, see, just, just, just the, uh, to ensure that we we get something from whatever the presenter on Okaridishwa, Titaro, want to provide. Because these things somehow could gain it. It may take you even five to certain years as a few minutes 
it's just good for most most of us. So I would advise people to ensure they become an ambassador um, of these trainings to ensure that at least most of us we we are becoming aware on these tax issues. Yeah, in various aspects because you you, you never know when you come to find out a person who will just need to have this clarification. So just to encourage people to keep um, attending and having to take note your understanding of uh, whatever being presented here. Okay, um, Matthew, there's a suggestion in the group. Some people want to connect with you further after the session. So if you don't mind your number so that they can write them down and reach out to you after the session. Yeah, actually, my number, I'm not sure if you, if you are ready to write them. And uh, I think maybe you can just facilitate providing them. My number is Sifuri Samba Moja Saba, Tisina Sita, Kumina Sita, Temanini Natatu. Sifuri Samba Moja Saba, Tisina Sita, Kumina Sita, Temanini Natatu. Just feel free to check me via WhatsApp or text or call then we can have a discussion. Right. Um, thank you, everybody, for the session. Mojo, you have asked a question. You can take it in the WhatsApp group. I know you are in the group. Just post it there, and Matthew will be more than happy to respond there and everybody who is in the group. Um, I hope that's okay with you, Andrew. Yeah, Andrew. Yes, it's okay. Okay, thank you, thank you so much, uh, 